Oh boy, kids, have I got something exciting to show you. Let's get the lights on, shall we? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Haha. <laughs> Look at that, would ya? Holy fuck, boys. Yep, and it works. Because I tried it yesterday. So, she's got a phono plug. Right there. And that's what I used to plug into the guitar. Yeah, I did. Come on, focus on that. Anyway, so here she is, boys. Look at her. It's marvelous. Marvelous. So anyway, this thing appears to be able to run four speakers. My plan is to run two 12s. So what I've done just to test her out is I ran a speaker cable into this Celestion 7080 that I had mounted in this unknown, and boy does it sound nice. Holy shit does it sound nice, boys. But all the friends that I've shown this thing to all seem to say the same thing, and that's holy shit, be careful that you don't electrocute yourself with this thing. And I have to say, I'm not entirely sure why, or rather how I would get electrocuted to this thing, but... Oh, I just noticed that. What the hell is that? Hmm. Okay, so something else. I don't even know what that is. What, what's that? What that's for. But yeah, this is cool as frig, boys. It seems to have a lot of... Let's get her in the light. It seems to have quite a few tubes. Was, like I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know what all these things are. I think these are two transformers. I'm not sure. So I'm not big into electronics. I don't have a fucking clue how any of this works. I'm not about to stick my hands in there. Really, all I want to do is I want to get this thing grounded. I just want to get it grounded and add a uh, a fuse so that it's safe to use. Because apparently it's not safe to use. <laughs> but man, does it sound good. Holy shit. I've seen so many guys post these things online and it's always just a bloody test. And I always wonder how the hell did you convert that? Because nobody's actually showing how to convert one of these things into a guitar amplifier. Well, <coughs> I didn't have to do a fuck lot of converting, boys. <laughs> I just ran into the phono input, and I and I I sort of figured from that that well, you know, this is a phono input's just really boosting the the signal. So it's probably just about what I want for the sound that I'm after. You know what I mean? Like so, yeah. Uh, and I'm getting another one. <laughs> I'm getting another one of these things. Yeah, next week the guy has another one. Uh, it's quite a lot bigger. It's a Phillips. It's uh, pretty tall. It's quite a lot taller than this one and skinnier, but it's also quite a lot more powerful than this one, he says. Anyway, I just traded some old fucking stereo equipment I had laying around. Well, not old. But, well, yeah, old, 20 years old, but good stuff. I had some Mission speakers and Harman Kardon amp, and I've still got the amp, and I traded him the speakers for this, because quite frankly all that stuff's not being used and I'm not a stereo guy anymore. But yeah, so my plan is to cannibalize this thing, if I have to, because you know what, I can't give this thing away. And I don't have any use for it, so I'm absolutely going to be using this speaker, and I'm hoping that since this thing has like four speaker inputs that I can just run two 12s like I can run a 2x12 cabinet so it kind of changed my plan because I was gonna make a 2x12 cabinet for that thing but now I want to make a 2x12 cabinet for this thing or a 2x10 because I've got two 10s kicking around here as well so you know I don't know a lot about ohms and all that kind of stuff and whether or not I'll blow this amp up if <laughs> up if I'm running it off of, you know, the two speakers that I have and everything. So I gotta suss all that out before I start going crazy here. But 
Tell you what, the short test that I did, it sounded amazing. Now, I would give you <laughs> a sound test, but I talked to another good friend who's a YouTuber also, and he said, no, don't give him a sound test. Let everybody chime in first, and then uh, and then we'll give him a sound tech test in the second video. So really, the reason I'm putting up this video at the moment is because I want people to chime in. I really need some help on how to make this thing more safe, okay? Because literally everybody I've talked to has said, you're crazy, be careful with that, that you don't get fucking blowed up from it. So I'm gonna take their advice. I've already reached, reached out to Will, Will's Easy Guitar. Um, he's got quite a lot of knowledge about this sort of stuff, so I'm hoping he'll chime in a bit. And yeah, I'm hoping the YouTube community can come together and finally, at last, let's all get a video together of how to convert one of these things, because this is cool as fuck. And I'm sure there are tons of guys out there wondering, how do I convert an old tube radio into a guitar amplifier? Well, <laughs> this one just seemed to work for me. I just plugged into the phono jack. The one that I've got coming has quite a number of inputs. Um, so there's a phono input and like three or four other like just direct inputs into the unit itself. But ideally what I'd like to do, I mean I don't really know what my plan is, but ideally what I'd like to do is I'd like to get rid of all the radio nonsense because I don't really need it. Um, but this is just like, this is cool as fuck. This is how you turn it on. And then she has to warm up a bit. Are you plugged in? Yeah, you're plugged in. Oh, there she goes. Oh, she's lit up. So yeah, this is this is so cool. It takes just a little bit to warm up. I've got treble and uh, uh, bass controls. I shut it off before it. I do anything to it. But yeah, hopefully, uh, folks, you can chime in and let me know what where I need to get started with this thing because this is really cool and I'd love to get this rolling as a reliable tube amplifier because uh, at the moment as it is like untouched unmodified it sounds incredible <laughs> it, there's no other word to describe it it's just warm chocolatey goodness it sounds fantastic so yeah guys if you know how to if you know how I can make this thing a bit safer Please, I beg you uh, to chime in. Um, if you're a YouTuber, I'd love to do something cooperative with you, maybe over Skype or iMessage or something. Maybe we can each get a video out of it. Uh, if you're not a YouTuber and you want to appear in one of my YouTube videos, I'm also happy to do the same thing with you. Maybe if you want to do an iMessage with me or Skype or some shit. I'm a Mac guy, so I have iMessage, but I can install Skype if that's your thing. But yeah, uh, anybody out there who wants to, who would like to get involved in helping me sort this out, I would love to share this with the guitar community uh, because I've been searching for a video or some easy to follow instructions for ages and ages and ages and I haven't been able to find anything and I'd love to be able to share this with the guitar community at large on YouTube. So uh, come on all of you electronics experts out there please chime in and let's get this thing going for the guitar community at large because I think this would be cool as fuck anyway thanks guys uh, apologize for the, the swearing and uh, hopefully we can get this going cheers everyone <laughs>